sound from the snare is going to reach the snare drum mic sooner or later than the kick drum mic. Sooner. Well, it's going to reach the, the snare mic sooner and the kick drum mic a little bit later, right? Now that difference in arrival time is going to muddy the sound of the snare. It's going to cause what's called comb filtering. And they, when you get that bleed from the snare into the kick, kick, combining with the direct sound of the snare mic, it can make the snare sound less distinct and even make it sound uh, weird and phasey. Um, so a lot of times the problem isn't that your snare sounds bad, it's there's too much snare bleeding from other things, bleeding from the snare into other things. So if I want my snare to sound better, instead of adjusting the snare track, I might be better off getting rid of all that bleed from the kick track. Um, now Pro Tools has a way to do that built in, um, uh, it's called Strip Silence. So um, if I open up my Strip Silence setting, clearly it's set correctly because I was just messing with this, but uh, you know, set it back to nothing here. I can see these white boxes forming. I kind of I want to manipulate these parameters until there's only white boxes around the things that I want to keep, which you know is just just the kick drum sound, right? And then so nope. What happened there? Did I not clear all my automation? Anyway, uh, once I strip this, that sound now is this. Right? Versus with all that snare still in there. Now you might hear that there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a choppiness where it kind of cuts off the end of the beginning of a snare note. Right? That's easy enough to fix. I just go and put in fades on everything, just a tiny little, let's say five millisecond fade in and a tiny little five millisecond fade out. And that should you know, that should fix some of those things. And I can always go and kind of edit that further. But now, on my kick drum track, it's just kick drum, and it's not going to be the bleed from the snare messing up the sound of the snare itself. Right? Um, so that's a, kind of the one of the first things I'll do uh, going through a uh, going through a mix, is just kind of clean it up, you know? And I'll often find that after I clean it up, I don't need to do as much. You know, I don't need to spend as much time messing with the snare track, because the snare track isn't being messed up by anything else. I don't need to spend as much time messing with the toms or messing with the overheads, because they're not conflicting with each other anymore. So I try to get rid of things before I start going in and adding 